it's time to turn our attention back to money. Ain't afraid to bear my soul, ain't afraid to walk on coals. I ain't gonna tell no lies, I ain't gonna apologize. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. I'm just doing what I Hello drivers, this is Enzo again with the Race Driver Coach Show, episode 12 of season 4. And we are going to talk about money again. It was only two episodes ago on that live show I did, episode 10, that we spoke about how much does it cost to get to F1. It was like six million. It depends what time you, what age you, you start and all this. But it was a lot of money. From that, I got a few questions. And way before that, I got a lot of questions that are sort of around the, the, the subject of can I actually earn money? What's the likelihood that I can make a career, can pay for my family? pay my bills from racing? And it is a really good question. But I just want to say to you right now, just to paint the picture of what sport you're involved in or want to get involved in. This is a wealthy person's sport. It's the kind of sport that costs so much to even get on the track in the first place that I'm afraid money's going to have to go in. Someone's got to pay for your drive. Even if it's a race team that's paying for your drive, someone's got to pay for it for them. It's got to be worthwhile. So, so much cash has to go into the sport in some way, like paying a team or whatever, way before you start to get some love back, way before any money comes your way. The amount of drivers I've coached, because I coach at quite a sort of, they're all going to the high levels of motorsport, the pinnacle. The money that goes in, it's millions. And they'll pay millions for years, years, years before they get a dime back. And even if they were to get 10 grand of prize money, it kind of gets swallowed up straight away by paying investors back, by putting it back into the company because they run their career like a company. And it always runs at a loss, right? <laughs> because they're always paying out. But they have to pay money in. So if you get prize money or anything like that, it goes straight back in, gets dissolved, and the driver probably doesn't see any of it. And someone has to pay for that driver's living expenses and all this. So quite often they're at home until their mid-20s, or they're just being put up in a flat somewhere when they've gone to a different country. But really, they've got no cash themselves. Constantly living off the credit cards of other people. That's normal because they haven't got time to go get a job or they don't want to go get a job. They could. They could start coaching. Which brings me on to something now when I say coaching. Yes, you can earn money, but it's bloody hard. The quick way to earn cash if you've got a race license and you've been racing for a while is to coach other drivers. Or to go to a race team and say, I'll coach all three of your drivers at every single race weekend. It will be 30 grand a year. I'll be here and I'll do all the driver coaching and data analysis for you. And a lot of dri uh, teams, will, if you're good enough, a lot of teams will say yes. Or we'll try you out. We'll give you, you know, come to next race weekend. Let's see how you get on. Or a current driver you're coaching gets you in with the team. Or you're just there with one driver. Now, that can start pretty early on in your racing. In fact, I did it in the second year, <laughs> second year of my racing. Um, yeah, 97, I started properly doing a championship. And in 98, I had my first client and I started working for a race school, Silverstone. So I was earning cash through motorsport. It wasn't through my racing, fair enough, but it was I was racing and then it gave me the expertise to teach to others. Um, race schools just teach in general public normally, but then I did get one client that year in the Alfa Romeo Championship, and I just stand on the corner, watch him compared to other drivers, teach him what he's doing, or they're doing better than him, um, kind of mentally prepare him, even though I wasn't really studying mental sciences too much them days, did that after this, um, watch his onboard, give him feedback, just be there for him, help him in any other way. And you get paid for that role. You get paid a couple of hundred quid, 100 pounds, dollars per day back then, and that was a good gig. That would pay for my road car and just I was still living at home then. So anything else I needed. So yes, you can earn money from motorsport. But earning it as being a race driver is a whole different story. Like I say, millions or hundreds of thousands has got to be pumped in first for you to get on the, on the grid. Then you need to be winning consistently. People need to see you on that grid and know that you're one of the best on the grid. You need to step up categories. You need to get attention in the right ways. You need to stand out. So basically, this is now, not when it happens. This is now. From now on, you need to stand out and be the kind of person that a manufacturer or a sponsor will look at and say, 
I want that person to represent my company. Now, a manufacturer, that's pretty much where the money's coming from nowadays, right? In motorsport. All they want to do is sell cars. That's it. They want to improve their brand, but that actually comes around to them helping selling cars again. They want to improve their technology, maybe, but really that's so they can come around and it comes around so they can sell cars again. At the end of the day, that's what they want. If they look at you or if you grab their attention and they see you as being somebody who can help them sell more cars, then you potentially have, well, you have the potential, sorry, to be paid. But that takes years. You might have to race GTs for three or four years, winning this is, before a manufacturer says, I want to give you the gig, or we want to hire you to help us run our track days. So you're just one of the coaches on there. And then maybe in the next year, if you impress us, we can get you onto some kind of race plan. But if you're wanting to go for like an Aston Martin or BMW, they have these driver shootouts once a year and you get invited to them, but they only invite the drivers they've noticed. They only invite the drivers that stand out in the whole GT world or have contacted them constantly as well and have stood out before they say, okay, you can come to the shootout and then you have to beat the other eight drivers or whatever it is and stand out and be the kind of person they want just to get the gig. And even when you get the gig, it's only like on a year to year basis, maybe two or three years you've got a contract for, but they can cut it whenever they want. So you can be flying high thinking that's it. I'm being paid my 60K a year now, or hundred grand a year from BMW, this is great, I've made it. But then they'll change their mind and go to do Formula E and they'll drop the GT3 program or whatever, I'm just saying, and you're left with nothing and you gotta start again. So really, motorsports is a really bad idea to get into if you're thinking about money. You've got more chance earning cash through building a website online and start to make money, a business online, start to make money from day one. And then maybe that money, if you make, if you build enough together, um, can pay for your racing and get you up there. But if you're going to racing to earn cash, it's just pointless. It's not motivating enough, and it's hard to even do it. You more, you got more chance winning the lottery. I don't mean the jackpot in the lottery, but some kind of prize on the lottery than motorsport paying you. But there are ways, and it's got to start now. So that's the kind of truth of it all. It's probably not going to happen for you. Let me just say that. I'm a very positive person, but if I was to look at the likelihood of all the drivers that have entered the sport wanting to be paid, and I see that amount, and then I see the amount of drivers that actually did get paid, it's like 1%. So you've got to try and get into that 1%. So to make this more proactive, productive, and to give you something that actually works, and how you can start to earn money, you've got to start right now and become the kind of driver that a manufacturer would want to hire. Are you good at sales? Are you like entrepreneurial? Have you got an entrepreneurial spirit to you and you've got them skills? If I look at you on the website now on the internet, does your profile, does it ooze professionalism? Does it look like you're the kind of person that a manufacturer would look at and say yes? Are your race results good enough? Do you stand out in the sport? These are the things they're looking for. If you're answering no to all of these, then all I want you to focus on this year is how can I answer yes to these? Am I standing out for the right reasons? Am I the kind of person that a manufacturer would like? Are my results good enough for a manufacturer to pay me money to race their car? Can I be trusted in this million dollar car they're going to let me have or race? And can I, am I the kind of person that can be trusted? Have I shown it? It's all external. If you want to stand out in the sport and be paid, you've got to stand out. Your results must be better than most drivers. You must talk to them. You must sell yourself. You must approach them all the time saying, look, this is what I'm doing. I really want to race your car. Eventually, you're going to break down as somebody who, who runs a manufacturer um, outfit a motorsport of the motorsport division and they'll say you know what i'm going to give you a shot but there's no chance of you getting paid in motorsport if your, your results are not very good and you're not the kind of person they want you've got to look good how can you help a manufacturer sell cars as a race driver well i've got to win 
I've got to be the best out there and I've got to look like the type of person and have a brand. You know, my social media can't be just me going out and getting drunk every night, every weekend. It's got to be me as the race driver. I've got to set myself up so my profile looks professional. So every time a manufacturer searches me and wants to see what I'm all about, they're like, hmm, this is the kind of person we can have. Which is great, but again, you've got to be on the grid winning in the first place. So if you want to get paid in motorsport, the short answer is you either go and work in the industry as a coach or something like that, so you can get paid and then you never know where that takes you because your gentleman driver might want to do Le Mans one day and you can take them all the way and be their co-driver. In fact, you probably coach them for free as long as they keep paying for your drive if you're giving them enough value and they like you. Many people have gone into a paid drive that way. And then when you're in Le Mans, then you start to meet people and get the manufacturers to notice you. So there's that way, okay? Coaching is a way in. And secondly, if you wanna do it through results, you're just gonna to have to understand that you're gonna to have to invest, or somebody is gonna to have to invest hundreds of thousands, maybe millions into your racing until you get to a level where manufacturers will notice you. And once you're there, you have to keep proving yourself. So yes, you can earn money through motorsport, but it's bloody difficult. And it still comes down to the fact or to the case that you as a driver, you need to win and you need to stand out for the right reasons. Your personal skills of how to sell yourself are so important. You've got to be a people person. The whole sport is a people sport base. It's all about people. People are in it. People say yes. People say no. If you can get more people to say yes, you will succeed in this sport. It's the same in life. It's the same in business. How are you going to do that? Become the kind of person that manufacturers look at and become the kind of person that sponsors want to put their brand on. And for sponsors, you've got to talk their language. If you're going to them and asking them to pay for you 100 grand just for a sticker on the car, you know I keep saying this, and it's in a championship that's invisible, you're not going to get paid. They're not going to give you money. So price your racing correctly when you go into sponsors, which we'll talk about in another ep episode. So don't worry about that. But yeah, in short, yes, you can get paid. Go through the coaching route to do it quickly, just a, a tiny amount. You never know where that can go. And uh, on top of that, win. Can't stop me.